All right, so here we are at lesson one, two, and we're going to talk about divisibility rules. After today, I want you to be able to use the divisibility rule for two, three, four, five, six, and nine. So divisibility rules mean if we look at a number, we can figure out if it, that number is divisible by any of these numbers listed here before we even do the math. Right, so first let's look at what divisible means. So divisible is, if you split it into two words, divis and able or able. So when you talk about divisible, divisible means a number's ability to be divided. So is it divide-able? Right? And then we also have, so remember this should go in your D's. So for an example, for divisible, 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So yes, 4 is divisible by 2. Okay, and then even numbers, just as a reminder, is a group that can be split into two groups without a remainder. I should say a number that can be split into two groups without a remainder. So let's take 6. So if I take 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I can make one group of 3. I can make two groups of 3. And I should say it can be split into two equal groups. two equal groups without a remainder. So I have a group of three and a group of three. So six is an even number. An odd number is a number that cannot be split into two equal groups without a remainder. So let's look at five. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I can make a group of three but since I have two left, I can't make a group of three, so I have a remainder of two. So five is an example of an odd number. All right, so I want you to take a second and I want you to think about this problem. Danny wants to know if 7,128 is divisible by two. Cherie says she can tell that it is without dividing it. How does Charisse know? So take a minute, look at this number, and how does Charisse know that it's divisible by 2 before we even do the math? All right, well, we just talked about how even means that it is a number that can be split into two groups without a remainder. And we know typically that our even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So if a number ends with any of those numbers, like 7,128 does, that means that it can be div divided by 2 because that's what even means. Even means it's divisible by 2 or it can be split into two equal groups without a remainder. And that's what we talk about with divisibility rules. Every number is divisible by any other number, but when we talk about divisibility rules, we're talking about is it divisible without a remainder. So 7,128 is divisible by 2 because it's even. Okay, so a number is divisible by 2 if it ends with an even number. So make sure to write these rules in your notes. You do not have to write that first problem, but write these rules in your notes. So I would actually copy this list down right now. And then when we go back, I'll always do it an example, so you'll want to do those examples with me. All right, again, pause if you need to, so that way you get all this written down, but I'm going to keep going. So in this case, here's my example. We're going to use the divisibility rule for 2 to decide if each is divisible by 2. So this is what I would want you to have in your notes. Just have a list of yes and no's, and then place the numbers where they belong. Okay, you don't have to write out all the numbers and then boxes unless you absolutely want to. Now, the other piece is I would like you to, if you are ready to or think that you can, at any point pause and try these by yourself so that way you're getting the practice and it's not just me doing it for you. All right, so let's see if I can change the color of these so they don't disappear on us 
There we go. So 34. I'm looking at 34, and I see that it ends in 4. And 4 is an even number, so it is divisible by 2. So that would go in our yes column. If we look at 15,432, it ends in 2, which is an even number, so it is also divisible by 2. Okay, 317 ends in an odd number, so that means that it is not divisible by 2 because it's an odd number. 6,025 ends in an odd number, so it is also not divisible by 2. 27,156, well that ends with a 6. 6 is even, so therefore it is divisible by 2. All right, now if you haven't done so already, I do want you to pause and try these last five by yourself, and when you come back, we'll check your answers. All right, so 43 would be no, 318 would be yes, 2,439 would be no, 910, remember zero means it's even, so yes, and 801 would be a no because it's odd. All right, so let's take a look at fives and tens. So let's go ahead and count by fives. All the numbers when we count by fives, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, these count bys are actually multiples of five. So five times one is five. Five times two is 10. Five times three is, oops, 15. 5 times 4 is 20. And if we keep going, try this again, 30, 35, 40, 45, what do you notice about all of these numbers? If you look at the last number, it either ends in a 5 or a 0. So because of this, since all of our multiples of 5, so any number that can be, that you multiply 5 by and get it as a product is a multiple of 5. Since they end in 5 and 0, the rule for being divisible by 5 is that it is divisible by 5 if the last digit is a 0 or a 5. So none of the other digits matter. As long as it ends in a 0 or a 5, it is divisible by 5. All right. And before we move on to practice, let's look at tens. So if we count by tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. What do you notice about all of these numbers? Every multiple of 10 ends with a zero. So tens are kind of like fives, where the last number helps us determine whether or not it is divisible by 10 or not. So divisibility by 2, it has to end with an even number. Divisibility by 5, it has to end with a, end with a 5 or a 0. And divisibility by 10 has to have a 0. So a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is a 0. So based on these rules, if a number ends in a 0, we know it's divisible by 10, 5, and 2, because that makes it an even number. So zeros really help us out. They tell us three numbers right off the bat. All right, so let's go ahead and practice this. So we have this box here. Go ahead and copy this down. And then what I want you to do is I'm going to go through the first two with you, so 45 and 67, and then you are going to do the rest by yourself and check your answers. So 45 ends in a 5, so that tells us that yes, it is divisible by 5, but since it ends in a 5 and not a 0, it is not divisible by 10. 67 ends in a 7, so it is not divisible by 5, and it is also not divisible by 10. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to try the last three. And also remember, if it ends in a zero, 
it's divisible by both 5 and 10. So if it is divisible by 10, then it also has to be divisible by 5. So if your answer to 10 is yes, then your answer to 5 should always also be yes. So go ahead and pause and try the last three, and when you come back, we'll check your answers. All right, so you should have yes and yes for 950, yes for 5, and no for 10 for 2,315. Yes for 39,190 for 5, and yes for 39,190 for 10. Again, notice, any time it's divisible by 10, it's also divisible by 5. But not the other way around. Just because it's divisible by 5 doesn't mean that it's going to be divisible by 10. Don't worry, as time goes on, you'll get better because you'll have a lot more practice. All right, a little more difficult here is when we're talking about the rule for fours. So we're looking at the last two digits of any number. So if you look at 816, the last two digits are 1 and 6, so that makes it 16. 16, I know, is a multiple of 4. So 16 is divisible by 4, so 816 is also divisible by 4. 36. 9 times 4 equals 36. So that means it's divisible, 36 is divisible by 4. Since 36 is divisible by 4, that means 5,236 is divisible by 4. And of course, here we have 0, 4. 0, 4, well that's just 4. And obviously, 4 is divisible by 4. So what that tells me is, since the last two digits make a number that's divisible by 4, that tells me that that whole number, so 86,704, is divisible by 4. All right, so what's the rule? The rule for 4, a number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits make a number that is a multiple of 4 or a number that is divisible by 4. All right, so here we have 12. 4 times 3 equals 12. So since 4 times 3 equals 12, that tells me that 8,512 is divisible by 4. 18. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16, getting closer to 18. But 4 times 5 is 20. So 18, even though that 8 looks nice, it's not just the 8. It's got to be the whole thing. So since 18 is not a multiple of 4, 518 is not divisible by 4. 28. So I know 4 times 5 is 20. I know 4 times 6 then is 4 more, which is 24. And 4 times 7 is 4 more, which is 28. So 28 is a multiple of 4. So that means that 78,628 is divisible by 4. All right, so moving on to the divisibility rule for 3. So let's take a look at these numbers. These are all multiples of 3. So 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 10 is 30. And 3 times... Anybody know this one off the top of their head? 3 times what gives us 42? Well, 3 goes into 4 once. Bring down the 1. And 3 goes into 12 four times. So 3 times 14 is going to give us 42. All right. If you look at 18 and you break it down into 1 plus 8, so if I add the digits, I get 9. 9 is a multiple of 3. If I take and add the digits of 30, so 3 plus 0, I get 3. Well, 3 is a multiple of 3. If I take and break down 42 to 4 plus 2, I get 6. All of these are multiples of 3. 
And all of these numbers that got us those are also multiples of 3. They're divisible by 3. So let's take a look at 9's. So 2 plus 7, because I know all these numbers are divisible by 9, gives me 9. 3 plus 6 also gives me 9. And 9 plus 9, see I'm just adding the two numbers together, gives me 18. All of these numbers, so 9, 9, and 18, are all multiples of, oops, that should be of, 9. So multiples really help us figure out our rules for divisibility. So in this case, when I have multiples of 3, I know that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is a multiple of 3. And there should not be a, an apostrophe there. That should be gone. Okay, so if I take the numbers, if I take the digits and add them together and it's a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. And then again, so what I mean is take them and add them together. Then I do the same thing with these numbers that I know are divisible by 9. When I add those digits together, so the 27, I add the 2 and the 7, I get 9. 3 and the 6 gives me 9. The 9 and the 9 gives me 18. Again, those are multiples of 9. So it's the same rule, except for for 9, if the sum of the digits is a multiple of 9, it's divisible by 9. Okay, so it's not that it has to be divisible by 3. It has to be divisible by, or it has to be a multiple of 3 to be divisible by 3. It has to be a multiple of 9 to be divisible by 9. So since 9 is a multiple of 3, any number that is divisible by 9 has to be divisible by 3. So that also helps you out as well. All right. So again, these are getting a little more complicated, but with practice you will do great. I know this for sure. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do the first two with you, and then you're going to do the rest on your own. So I have 345. Well, if I take 3 plus 4 plus 5, 3... Oops, 3 plus 4 plus 5, 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12. Well, 12 is a multiple of 3, but it is not a multiple of 9, so I know that 345 is divisible by 12. I'm sorry, by 3. All right, let's take 969. So 9 plus 6 plus 9. So I have 9 and 6, which is 15 plus 9 is going to give me 24. So even though this ends in a 9, that ending number has nothing to do with 3's and 9's. So get out of that habit for 3's and 9's because 9 plus 6 plus 9 gives me 24. Well 24 is not a multiple of 9, but it is a multiple of 3, so it means it's divisible by 3. All right, so I want you to go ahead and I want you to try the rest. And when you come back, we'll check your answers. So 889, 8 and 8 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. 25 is neither a multiple of 3 nor 9, so it's divisible by neither. 6,207, 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. 3 times 5 gives me 15, but nothing times 9 gives me 15. So when I add my digits, it gives me a multiple of 3, so it's divisible by 3. 9,810. 9, I like to do this. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 8 is 18. Plus 0 is, well, still 18. Well, 18 is a multiple of both 3 and 9. So I'm going to put this in the box that says both. 774, 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 4 is 18. Again, 18 is a multiple of 3 and 9, so it's, it can't go, I can't put it in both boxes, so I put it in the box for, that says both, because it's both divisible by 3 and 9. 4,536, 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 6 again is 18, 18 is divisible by 3, and by 9, 
So since the digits add up to a number that is divisible by 3 and by 9, it's divisible by both 3 and 9. 210. 2 plus 1 plus 0 is 3. 3 is a multiple of 3, but not of 9, so it's only divisible by 3. 15,589. 5 and 5 is 10. 9 and 1 is 10, so that gives me 20. 20 plus 8 is 28. Well, I can't really remember 28, so let's do 8 plus 2 is 10. So 28 is not divisible by 3, so and it's not divisible by 9, so neither of these. Why are you not staying in the box? There we go. Neither of these, or neither with 9 nor 3, can divide that number. So notice what I did was I took the 1 plus 5 plus 5 plus 9 plus 8, and I did, I added these two together first and ended up with 10 plus 10 plus 8, which is 20 plus 8, which makes it easier for me. Well, in 28 I wasn't sure about, so I can break that number down again, and I got 10. Since 10 is not divisible by 9, and 10 is not divisible by 3, then 15,589 is not divisible by either of those either. All right, 34,216. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 2 is 9, plus 1 is 10, plus 6 is 16. Well, if you're not sure, take that 16, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 isn't a multiple of 3 or of 9, so again, it's divisible by neither. Again, I don't expect you to be a master at this at the end of this video. As you go on and you practice and you use this more often, it'll become easier. All right, and then we are to one of our last rules, the divisibility rule for 6. When we are looking at the divisibility rule for 6, we have to use the divisibility rule for 2 and 3. So 456 is even, so I said yes, it's divisible by 2. Okay, let's check for 3. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So yes, it's divisible by 3. Now here, I'm just going to show you the answer. Is it divisible by 6? Yes. All right, so let's keep that in mind. 567 is odd, so it is not divisible by 2. 5 plus 6 is 11. Plus 7 is 18, which is divisible by 3. So, yes, 567 is divisible by 3, and notice it is not divisible by 6. 576, this time is even, so it is divisible by 2. 576, so 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 18, and it is divisible by 3, and is divisible by 6. So what do you notice here? Right now you're seeing that if it's a yes for 2 and 3, it's also for 6. If it's a no for 3, or a no for 2, then it's a no for 6. Well, let's look at one more number here. Let's look at 22. So for 2, yes, 22 is divisible by 2. 2 plus 2 gives me 4, so no, it's not divisible by 3, and no, it is not divisible by 6. So notice the only time it's divisible by 6 is when you have a yes for the 2 and the 3. That's exactly the rule for 6. A number is divisible by 6 if it's divisible by both 2 and 3. Not one or the other, it has to be divisible by both. All right, so now we're going to go to our last page, which is all our divisibility rules, so make sure you have those written down. I do not have the answers at the end, or sorry, not the answers, I do not have the questions at the end of this. Those are just going to be on your quiz. So make sure that you log on and you type in your class code, which is either real 6A or real 6B, depending on your class. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to write them down so we can go over them in class.